Hey guys, it's Anna here. I just wanted to do my Orchid Arsenal show for, I was tagged by Margaret East to do a Orchid Arsenal video. So, I just wanted to share with you what I use. I use lava rocks a lot for stuff that likes to um, be dry or cattleyas. That way I can water whenever I want. Um, I also use, um, you go to the store and there's like mulch, um, non-treated cypress, mix, um, charcoal, perlite. I also use good quality sphagnum moss. I get this from Robert's Flower Supply. I'm sure you can find it other places too. Um, I use sprinkle Osmocote on everything. Even the picky frags like it. So it's just one of those slow release things that it lasts for a while. You get little sprinkles on your plants in the summer um, and it, you mix it in and it um, works really well. I also get my baskets from Robert's Flower Supply. I get my clay pots from uh, Home Depot most of the time, unless I'm looking for a specific size. Then I go to Robert's Flower Supply. This basket was $6, so I usually load up on them. Um, <laughs> same with like pot hangers. Love pot hangers. Um, I love um, NutriCoat. I use this, you can't really see it. Nutricoat. It's so old, but I use this on all of my paths. I sprinkle a couple on top, and it's um, nitrogen based. So it's got some phosphate, potash, magnesium, zinc, copper, boron, MO. What is MO? Melbranium, iron. Anyways, it's got a lot of stuff in here for things like that micronutrients. I also started using Jack's all-purpose fertilizer. I was getting the other stuff. I didn't like that after it kind of sat there under my sink, it would get clumpy and I would have to like scrape it. This is also bright blue, which I love. Um, so that's that. And then I just went out and bought the big guns safari. Not everybody needs this, but when you have a collection as big as mine, it can go out of check for months at a time, especially when it's inside. I'm in orchid show season where I'm helping people do stuff. I haven't like looked at my orchids in two months and holy shit, I have scale on them. Um, I also put all my stuff outside. This is not safe for bees, so do not treat it if it's flowering. Oh, I just got black stuff all over my fingers. Um, it was $104 for this thing. It was 12 ounces, um, but it'll last a while. And if you're really seriously into orchids like I am, then it can go miles. You treat like every three weeks when you have an infestation once a month when you're doing preventative. So it's pretty cool. And since I was down here, I figured I would repot with you guys. I had this vanilla osum, this max layer of vanilla osum. It's been having some problems. I've been growing it under lights and the new growth keeps rotting out and I figured it was time to repot it. Um, it's got a little new growth there. Um, also, I just put, oh, tools. I love little snippies. Snippy tools are the best. And then also a sink where you can just throw stuff, like in a basement. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Also, check out Wade's Orchids for orchid sales. Since we're in quarantine right now, I'm still going to work. My husband had knee surgery, so we've been okay. But um, I feel awful for all the orchid vendors that have bought in plants to go to shows just to end up sitting on them. So check out um, Robert's Flower Supply, uh, Wade's Orchids, um, Windswept in Time is a great local supplier. He just has a bunch of stuff that he just got in for shows. I love Edgar and Kim, they're so sweet. She's a succulent specialist, so if you like cactuses or succulents, check them out. I know that she doesn't really post much about that, I don't think. but. So I wanted to try to put this guy in a basket because it seems to like to kind of crawl out. It's a max layer, so it loves water. And I will water this thing every day. So I know you're not really being able to see. So I just filled this up with some moss. <laughs> I just got like moss in my face. I'm sorry, guys. So there's a couple ways that you can do this. I guess I should have wet the moss first. So. I also love to paint these things, that way the deer can't get them, but something started eating my fucking shit. Like it was, it ate um, a bulbo, it just ate the whole thing, it bit into my stanhopias. Oh, I have one in bloom, I gotta show you guys. So, what I like to do with moss is get
get it wet, and then you form the outside. So it has like a little bucket for the orchid. And then you get some more moss that I didn't wet previously. And some more, and some more, and some more. And what you want to do, also, it's okay that this thing still has stuff on it. Basically, you just want to make a root ball. I'm not doing this again. It's just going to be like that. And then I just like to stick it in there. And then you basically pack around it. I know this is off camera, guys. I'll show you in a minute. I don't see. So, excuse the mess. But, uh, so basically it looks like that. You just, let's see, where can I put you? You get some more moss. And it was really funny. I don't know if you guys remember the story of this orchid. I could not find it. This was recently discovered in, I think, like, the 2000s. So for orchids, that is very new. Um, I can't remember exactly. I got it from... River Valley Orchids. He is another wonderful man if you need to speak. He lives in Central Ohio, I think. Centerville? Centerville, Ohio? Yes. All of the information's right there. It's RV Orchids online. Um, and that was the thing I was trying to read. And I was like, I don't know what this means. I don't know what this means. You know, it's kind of like having bad, bad handwriting when, like, you can read your bad handwriting, but when you're trying to read someone else's, it's like reading cursive. I can't do it. I can't read cursive. So anyways, hopefully this will help this orchid because it has been suffering. I haven't repotted it since I got it. And I believe I got it like the last time he spoke to us, which was like three or four years ago. So that's pretty bad, Anna. Let's see. And when you get a nice good quality sphagnum moss, it will last a little bit longer than the cheap shit, um, just in general. Anything you buy that's better will last you longer. So, so if you put it in right, you can literally do anything to it. Hang it upside down. You don't need to stake it. You don't need to support it. Um, one of the things that you should also do is have a bunch of extra tags. You can put color code them as what I usually do. Things that stay evergreen, I leave in green. Things that can go dormant in red or blue. Blue is for like cold tolerant things. Um, or not, yeah, cold, more cold growing things. Just yada yada yada. Um, but also what you want to do is date this the last time you repotted it. So I always forget, I always tell everybody, do it, do it, do it. Um, also something like this that would be hanging. I suggest putting a tag on the inside of the pot as well on the outside that's easy to read. And always write in pencil, not pen or marker, because that will fade. I have some orchids that I don't, I don't know what they are anymore, because it faded. Alright guys, hope you liked that quick video of my orchid arsenal and a quick repot. Bye guys. <laughs> Bye guys. Love you so much, family. Bye. Hey again guys, so I forgot the most important part of the whole video was the tagging of someone. So I am adding this to the video and I am tagging Brittany from Holy City Orchids. Hopefully she'll make an orchid arsenal. Um, another thing that I was going to say that I definitely do is drink wine when I'm frustrated with my orchids. I'm sure everyone can relate. Um, but mainly just talking to people. My orchid arsenal is YouTube when I first started, which was pretty cool. I got to meet a lot of people through the internet, so now connection is part of my orchid arsenal. I love to be able to talk to people. Um, I like joining the society, I think. Um, but mainly the biggest part of the orchid arsenal that I can say is communication with others because someone might be doing something similar. Uh, someone might have an idea that sparks something in your brain. And I think that is the best part of my orchid arsenal is all the people that I've met along my orchid journey. So, um, never give up on something. Try something different next time or do something. Innovation is definitely a part of my orchid arsenal. Um, so I tag you, Brittany, from Holy City Orchids. Give us your orchid arsenal. Bye, guys. Love you, family.